Hello, this is easy, and I'm going to have this uh, Z Modeler Polygon. It's a macro script. And what this will allow you to do is set up a hotkey for your Z Modeler polygons, or set up a toggle for it. What I mean by toggle is if you press a hotkey, you can do one action. If you press the same hotkey again, you can switch it to another action. Now this is for polygons only for right now. It's not for edges or points. And you'll have all these files that you want to put in the ZBrush 4R7 startup macro miscellaneous. And we'll even have this folder here. Um, read the credit in here for the people that kind of gave me the idea and some scripts. And some little pointers because you will need to make sure you have a backup copy of your hotkeys a necessity in case something goes wrong so we'll load this up here and I'll show you how this works so if we go to the macro here and reload all macros first thing we want to do is press low brush Z model polygons and every time I start ZBrush up after I shut it down this needs to load the brushes up for this to work so I'm going to press here and it's going to load all my brushes all right, we're going to go ahead and set up, uh, it's got three different sets, set one, set two, and set three. We're going to do set one right here. We need to decide which Z modeler we want to use for a primary. So if we open up the brush menu here, and let's say the first one I want to do is, let's say, I think I want to extrude that, so we'll press extrude. We'll go to the macro, and we'll press here, and it's going to tell me it's the primary brush. What do I want for the secondary? So, we'll press here, and I will press bevel, and we'll go to the macro, set one, it's a secondary brush. Now, once we do the secondary brush, we want to go to the macro, we want to set up a hotkey for this. When my mouse is hovering over the uh, button here, you can see the text down here says toggle brush set one. I'm going to hold the control key and the alt key down at the same time, and I'm going to click that one time. Upper left hand corner is going to tell me to sign a hotkey. Well, I'm going to sign the hotkey number, or not number, but the letter B, which usually brings up brush and ZBrush, so it'll probably ask me to overwrite it. So I'll press B. And it says it's telling me it's already assigned. I'm gonna press OK because I want to make it be my key. Now, if I hoover over the face here or polygon, it says bevel. If I press the B again for the hotkey, it says extrude. It's gonna cycle back and forth. Press B again, bevel. Press B again, extrude. If we go up to the macro up here, and if we hoover over there, look at the text at the bottom. Now it says brush toggle brush set one letter B that is the hot key for that so let's do an action here let's extrude this and click again and I'm gonna press B on the keyboard and it's going to bevel it when I drag out so if I come over here do I want to bevel or press B to extrude so extrude 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 B again and bevel Alright, let's say I want to do something else. I want to go ahead and set up a toggle key without using the uh, sets here. You can do all the, th you can come up to three sets that you can make. So let's see where we're face. Okay, it says bevel right now. Well, I'm going to press B again because extrude is actually going to be my primary. I just wanted to press that to show you. Extrude is my primary. If I press B again, this is my secondary. So I'm going to right click the bevel. And I'm going to press insert. Then when I hover over here and press B, extrude, and inset, not insert. So we'll extrude this, click again, and B again, and we're going to go ahead and 
and set that. We can then set that and press B again. We can click out, click out, press the B key and set that. Very simple. Now this is just temporary. This does not get saved when you store your hotkeys. Now the macro of these sets here do get saved. But the problem with this is if I hoover over the polygon here, it says inset a poly. It does not correspond with the name over here. It is because I changed the action. I right click here. You can see I changed the action to inset. And it's not corresponding with this. So this is something you've got to tinker with to understand it. But for some reason you're not understanding it and you need to change things up you can reset all the brushes back so what we can do is go to macro and if we press this uh, low brushes again and we'll press here and then we'll come back over in the face press B extrude and bevel now we got our hotkeys back Okay, let's say that you, I, I had paused the video, let's say that you have a settings that you like to save and uh, you always want to save it when you load these brushes. Um, the best thing to do is go ahead, um, before you do anything, is press load brush. That's going to make sure that everything is reset back to the default settings of all these polygon brushes that are located down here. So if we right click over this one right here uh, you can see it says bevel here and it's corresponding with the brush here bevel so I know I'm dealing with brush um, bevel and uh, that makes it easy for me to keep track um, basically you want to change anything besides the action because we want to identify the name bevel with the modifier brush over the left bevel now we could set it to two rows because we're only changing the modifiers. Anytime you change the modifiers, you'll be okay. Now, let's say this is, I like using this a lot, and this is what I always want to use for a while. So, I'll show what that does. So, let's give it two rows. Now, I want that to load every time that I use the macro and press load brushes. We can go to the brush menu and press save as. And we'll go to startup. Then we go to the macro miscellaneous and the folder here is brush Z model polygons now you can see that it's going to have the bevel right here it's got the number one at the end so you want to remove the one and overwrite the bevel here that way all them settings get saved and every time that you use the macro and you load the brushes every time you use bevel the two rows will be ready to go if you want to set up an individual hockey we'll click the brush over here and we'll press this one here we'll not press it I'll hover over it control alt key and click for scale and I'm going to sign a hotkey s for scale all right so our scale is on as soon as I press S and if I press B you can see I got extrude press B again I got bevel them are my two cycling keys extrude and bevel and when I press S for scale there's my hotkey for that that's just an individual hotkey I had paused the video and I went to Lightbox and I loaded this uh, cube bevel here. Pretty much when you extrude with this mesh here, it always bevels. And anytime that you want to go ahead and change these settings, you can overwrite them. So if I hover over the face here, it says inset, I already have set up, press B and X extrude. If I hit B a key, again, inset. So just a little demonstration how this would kind of work real quick. Press the B key. I want to extrude it, let's say right here. Click, click, click. Press the B key to insert. Insert, B, extrude, extrude, and extrude, B key, inset, B key, extrude. If 
you want to go ahead and try this uh, macro here, you can, well, I'll pause the video, but anyway, if you want to go ahead and try this macro here, um, there's going to be a link below the video that you can download and give it a try. Um, I'm just kind of testing this out, and like I said, this is for polygons only. It's not made for edges or points, but sooner or later, I'm sure that I'll finish this up. This is kind of a re-edit. I made a mistake earlier in the video because I wasn't fully able to go ahead and try this out and see what works and what don't. Well, I found something that doesn't work like I said it would. So I'm going to explain that here right now. I had actually shut ZBrush down and reopened it. And if I go to my macros here, this is what you do when you shut it down and reload it. You need to go to reload all macros and you need to load brushes right here. I had made a new set of hotkeys for this one here for the set. So if I hoover over a face, it says Q mesh, press the B key, it says bevel, press the B key, it says Q mesh. Earlier I said in the video, I'm gonna right click, as you can see we got these modifiers. I said if you select one of these modifiers, then you go to the brush and then you save that with the modifier then it would load everything when nothing changed when you change the modifier down here well the problem is uh, some of these settings actually do not get saved the only one I so far have I tested that gets saved is the targets that get saved you do not want to change any names up here because you want these names to be corresponding with the brush over here so um, basically the only thing I can see that's getting saved is the target the cool thing is, which uh, is actually, this is for polygons only, you can toggle between edges and points with the same hotkey. Well, this is only temporary and this does not get saved in your hotkeys. Now, my hotkeys for my faces or polygons, they will get saved every time I load it. So, let me give you a demonstration. Let me go ahead and zoom this up. As you can see, I'm using the hotkey right here, B, Q mesh, bevel, Q mesh. Now, if I hover over an edge, you'll see it says insert edge loop. If I press the B key, well, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and right click this edge and let's turn this to scale. Now I hover back over the edge, scale, and insert edge loop. Press the B key and it cycles back and forth. Let's say I want to keep scale and I want to change it with something different. Well, scale is my primary primary um, target here, so I want to switch this with the B key to the secondary, right click, and we'll press align. Then we should have scale and align. So when we come over here, we got align, B key, scale, B key line. And if I hover back over my face here, I still have the hotkeys for the faces. B key Q mesh, B key bevel. I had paused the video and updated the script. And before I go here, I want to show you this kind of little add on that I added to it. It's not a whole lot of difference. We go to the macro here and reload all macro since I started ZBrush from scratch here. We're going to load the brushes here. And once they loaded, then um, we got this new brush here, which is the Z-Modeler Q-Mesh. Uh, this is the new one that's going to be in place when it finishes. Um, what's good about this is, um, let's go ahead and just set up some hotkeys really quick for this one. So we're going to do, uh, let's say, this is going to be my primary Q-Mesh. So that's Q-Mesh. And let's do crease. So then we'll go to the macro and press here. That's my second one. Then we're going to store a hotkey for the macro. Control Alt click. And then we'll press the B key. And then we're going to have our hotkey here. So when I press the hotkey B, we got crease and Q mesh. Crease and Q mesh. Um, 
the addition here is if I'm in Q mesh mode here and I hover over an edge you can see it says insert loop now if I press the B key again and hover over there well it says the same thing so let's go ahead and go back to the Q mesh right here Move over an edge and we're going to right click and we're going to press a line so every time they were in Q mesh here and hoover over there it's going to say a line so if I go ahead and press the B key to toggle to the crease you see crease here that the edge has changed so if I right click over here and press extrude we're going to have a line and extrude. So if I hover over an edge, extrude, B key, align, B key, B key again, extrude. Now, once we do this, you need to find out the two that you are modifying. That's the crease one and the key mesh. So if it's the crease here, you want to go to the brush and save as. And we'll locate that might want to make a backup copy of this then we come down and see crease here is I can I told you before you can remove the one here for crease or I can just click here and it will update and remove the one there and press save we want to overwrite that then we come over here Q mesh brush save as and we're going to locate that one here and I'll write that now every time that I load these brushes back up let's see I was coming from a dead start and load these brushes up and I use the hotkey over the edge here it's going to store the align press the B key and extrude and it will still store the faces.